So guys and welcome to uh, the first series of mine on this channel. Uh honoured to be asked to do this, I mean it's somewhat new, I mean there's a lot of people that will be interested in watching this, so I hope the kind of thing I'm gonna be doing will appeal to you. So I'll just go ahead and start this uh as you can see this is a set up page just showing what leagues I have. Um what I wanna do in this uh series is try and win the cups from each league and also like the European ones. I mean I don't want to win a European in every like country and above all that. I just mean I want to win every trophy in each thing. So Scotland's really there for the Europa League. I mean yeah I'm more than capable of winning a Europa League um trophy. So that's about that really. Um and I'll take it on the team I selected to start off with. Arsenal. Uh chose Arsenal because they're going downhill. They haven't won anything in a while, so I think this is a good stamp. But I mean, they are a big club, but they haven't won anything in a while, so hopefully I can take, push them on, and leave them better than when I started winning trophies. Um, that takes me into the first friendly, really. As you can see, 2 0 away at Millwall with Van Persie injured. Um, it wasn't actually the best of games. I mean, we were all over them all the way throughout the game, but we just couldn't score. and I actually contemplating we might actually just like draw this or something I mean it wasn't really the best result so when Willis just scored it was kind of relief as we were winning at that point so I kind of took that one I'm not going to complain too much about it um, but I'll take you on the Van Persie injury as you can see it's only the 23rd of July and I apologise by the way because my TV is on because I haven't seen this one yet it's that revolution will be televised thing on BBC3. It's so, so funny. It's, it's absolutely amazing. He's it, practicing the Lynx advert. It's so, so good. Anyway, as you can see, three months out. Um, mm, dreading it. I mean, hopefully we can still get the results. I mean, I think it just depends on how my signings step up. And that's basically all it is down to. So that takes me into the second friendly. As you can see, two of my did play and scored two goals each. As you can see, Akriton expected to win, and we did quite easily. I think I'm probably going to have to turn a bit over there. But yep, yeah, easy win, 6 0. Nothing much to say about this, I mean, just a good result. Hopefully, get the moral up, morale up for the start of the season. And um, I'll finish off just talk about the transfers here. As you can see, I have spent a lot of money, but I've also tried to make it back. Um, I'll go through the people I sold first. Nicholas Bentner, who I got back from Sunderland to sell. I only really wanted nine million for him, but then Madrid put in that bid, and I wasn't complaining. I mean, it's a nice bid, especially since I never rate him. I mean, he's he's a lot of trouble. So thirteen point five million. I mean, the way I was looking at it, it was like if I can get enough money to pay for one of my transfers, then that's fine. So the way I've done that is he can pay for the Moutinho transfer, and um, the second player I sold was Andre Arshavin who once again I didn't want that much money for him but I got offered it so I wasn't going to deny it um, so yeah he, plays for the, he paid for the Batra transfer but these are both players that I didn't really think we needed and um, that moves on to the, set, the last two Gibbs and Rosicki Rosicki Thomas, Thomas Rosicki um, neither neither are very good I mean they didn't add much to the team Gibbs is young and he was a replacement so you know I might struggle there but I thought I think I think we've got a strong enough team to progress and not need them kind of guys. So yeah, um, the first signing was Mario Mandzukic from Wolfsburg, who is a strong attacker. I mean, I wanted him a partner um, Van Persie up front, but obviously with his injury now, I'm gonna have to rethink that. I mean, I'm playing four three three, so there's there's a room for him and there's room for Van Persie when he gets back as well. So it'll probably be him, Shamak, and uh, Young, like Patch or Young, whatever his name is, up front. Um, next, uh, I really wanted to buy midfielders that were solid. So Milner, obviously, he's probably not the best. I mean, I know some people out there don't rate him, but on this game, he has got really, really good stats. So I wasn't going to, I couldn't really say no for £40 million. And then um, there's Jairo Moutinho from Porto, who, once again, everyone knows about him. He's a, he's a cracking player um, it's only a matter of time before he comes to the Premiership in real life so I thought I know I'll see how I'll see how he, how he might do in the Premiership I mean it's interesting to see how these players might progress 
And um, as you can, then you can see the last one there is Mark Bartra, who I've never heard of before. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was kind of just looking for defenders, and then I was using the shortlist off of the FM Vibe, FMH Vibe um, website that deck the owner um, suggested I should I should get, and so that's how I found him. I mean, I'd never heard of him before, and he's got really good stats, and he's really young. Uh, he plays right back and centre back, so he's quite versatile. Um, I'm going to try and train him to be left back as well, saying so he can play all over there, and that's basically covered. Um, but yeah, that's it for the subs, really, and that's it for this update. The updates are going to be monthly, um, so because if I don't do it monthly, I will end up talking for ages. So monthly, I'll just talk. About, I'll basically, I'll take you through the results that it'll end with the league tables. Any transfers I do in January will obviously be in the January update. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, uh, thanks for watching, and make out, make sure you check out everyone else. I mean, there is Joel and the real Toffee Boy, who are both really, really good um, video makers. I mean, I enjoy. I mean, I enjoy watching both of the videos. I mean, they're very interesting and they're really good at the game. So obviously. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to have a competition on days who's the best out of us. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Obviously, if you, whoever comments, I will be replying to him. So if you want any questions, asking about the game, about you know, what I mean, anything, I will be here to talk to you. So yep, yeah, cheers, and I'll see you all there.